Hey guys, Mardi Reviews here, and today I want to help you decide whether you should spend all that damn salvage to buy the E-Red's epic variant, the Cerebrus. Now, upon the release of Infinite Warfare, the E-Red was probably one of, if not the best SMGs out there. The only competition it had was the RPR Evo. But nowadays, we have all these DLC weapons, such as the VPR and the Trencher, that are really good SMGs, and can the E-Red still hold up? Now, the Cerebrus has two pretty damn sweet perks on it. It has stability, which is reduced recoil, and also master key, which is a built-in underbarreled shotgun, which you change to just like you're changing weapons, you're holding Y or triangle. So, based on the perks of the Epic E-Rad, the only way it is different from any other variant of the E-Rad is the fact that there's a built-in grip. So, if you want to try out the E-Rad Cerebrus without actually buying it, go use a different E-Rad variant and equip a foregrip to it. And that acts pretty much the same as the E-Red Cerebrus, apart from you don't have an underbarreled shotgun. Now, let's move on to discussing how good is the Master Key perk on the E-Red Cerebrus. First off, its range is non-existent. You literally have to be touching an enemy with the E-Red for the shotgun to get a one-shot kill. Absolutely crazy. It literally has no range whatsoever. But on a positive note, there is no rechamber time at all for the E-Red Cerebrus' shotgun. So you can essentially fire as fast as you can pull the trigger. Before we move on, there is one important thing you need to know about the E-Red Cerebrus. And that is, no matter if you're in shotgun mode or SMG mode, all the bullets come from the same stockpile. So if you go to shotgun mode and shoot a shell, then go back to the SMG mode, those five pellets are going to come out of your SMG stockpile. So if you go to the shotgun mode and shoot off all six of your bullets, then holding Y to switch back to the SMG, you're going to need to reload. So you only use the shotgun sparingly, which is what you're going to do anyway, because it has no range. So based on that, you guys are like, oh my god, this shotgun sucks. Well, not exactly. It still has its uses. I love using it on Genesis as those tight corners. I change to my shotgun and go around those corners and you just rain down bullets, dude. You can get quad feeds with this thing, seriously. If there's enough people in your way and you are close, this shotgun will mow them down really fast. Alright guys, let's move on to the final verdict. Is the E-Rad Cerebrus worth all that salvage? Now, if you do not already use the E-Rad, I would not recommend going out of your way to buy this weapon. It is definitely not a must-have weapon. There is other better SMGs out there. However, on that note, if you do already use the E-Rad and you do not have an epic variant, this weapon will work for you. Alright guys, and that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, don't forget to drop a big fat like on the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the E-Rad Cerebrus. Do you think it's better than the Cyclopean variant? Make sure you guys let me know your opinions. And if you guys want to be a proud member of the Mardi Flock, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And on that note, I'm out guys. Peace.